What's happening guys, Chris here and welcome to another video and in today's video we're going to be taking a look at the Mast Archer from Dragonhawk. A lot of you have been asking us to review this machine and Dragonhawk actually reached out to us and sent us some machines to review so we'll be getting straight into that after the intro. This video is not a sponsored video but Dragonhawk did actually give us four tattoo machines, one was to review, and three were to give away. Now we will be announcing how you can win these machines on our podcast element of the channel, so keep an eye out for that in the near future. So the Mast Archer is a wireless pen from Dragonhawk. It weighs 186 grams, it has a stroke length of 3.5 millimeters and that cannot be adjusted. It has a working voltage of five to 12 volts. Uh, at 10 volts, it's 8,750 RPM. At 12 volts, it's 10,500 RPM. The diameter is 32 millimeters. It has a length of 132 millimeters. It has a 2,000 milliamp high capacity lithium battery. According to the website, the battery will work continuously for eight hours. It is also compatible with the Mast Saber disposable grips. Now, included in the package, you get one Mast Archer. You also get one USB Type-C fast charging cable and you get one gift box. I'm not sure what they mean by gift box, but it could be the, I think you get like an Allen key and things like that. You get two replaceable grips, so you like samples of the disposable grip. Okay, and the price of this machine is $189. You can buy it off their website directly. You can also buy it from Amazon and I think there are a couple of other supply companies that carry the Mast Archer, but it's also branded with their own branding on there. I was pleasantly surprised by the machine, To be, if I'm being perfectly honest with you. Um, I thought the price point, it wouldn't be that good. And I, I, that's me being straight up. I thought it wouldn't be that good. Um, and you know, it's 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 an okay machine. There are a couple of things only that I, I liked and a couple of things that I didn't like. So we will go firstly with the things that I like about the machine. I feel like as a liner, I was able to line with it smaller needle groupings. I think some of the larger needle groupings I found that I was having to double line it or sculpt the line. So I personally felt that I couldn't really put like 18 round shaders in with it. But three liners, five liners, nine liners and so on, I was able to, to, to use those and I was able to sculpt some lines with it. And it did put the lines in fairly nicely. Coloring with it as well, I feel like this machine is a really nice machine for color blending. And color packing, you know, it got the color in nice. I did find I had to run it low, and I'll get to the reasons as to why in a minute. But yeah, for coloring, it was okay. Now, it did slow me down a little bit in comparison to what I'm normally used to. Again, I was able to put color in, and it was pulling it in nicely. Very little irritation or trauma to the skin, and the color was very nicely saturated. I like the fact that you can get disposable grips for these, and you've got some sample ones that come with it, and like, you know, it, that is a really good idea to have disposable grips with your tattoo machine, so that's a, that's a pro for me. So battery life, I've charged it once, and so far I've done, pretty much done about, I've done two tattoos with this. I've probably done about seven hours with tattoo with it, and surprisingly, I've still got like 70% battery, so the battery life on this is fairly decent so far, but that could be because of the voltage range I'm running it. I'm running it at a low voltage range, so it's not gonna have as much power consumption. I like the fact it has a USB Type-C charger as well. That's really great because it fits in with a lot of the stuff that I have. And it also has a timer built in. It also comes in four different colors, red, blue, black, and like a pinky color, which is the one I've got by there. It's not that heavy, it's not that like, it's, it's okay. It's not got that forward balance that some machines have. It has got the balance more towards the back end of the machine. But yeah, it was it was fairly comfortable to use. Down to the, the obviously the, the things I don't like about the machine. Now, the things I don't like about this machine are fairly simple if I'm being honest with you. I don't like the fact that you can't swap the battery out or it's not a modular system. So, you know, I think if you have one of these, you're probably better off buying two of them because you can't swap the battery out so yeah that's a you know a bit of a, a downer for me it hasn't died on me yet so that's I suppose is a pro but I think definitely if you were gonna get one of these machines and because of the price that they are they're cheap enough definitely look at getting two machines rather than just one and you'll be okay because what you can do is once you once your battery does die and while it's charging 
you can just pick up your other machine and tattoo with that. So yeah, that's a bit of a thing that I don't like about it. Another thing that I don't like about this machine is the needle protrusion and the way that works. Like, it's completely different to some of the other machines that I've used. And what I've noticed is when you're twisting it, rather than the grip moving up and down, there's like an insert. And what that does is adjust the needle depth. Wrapping the machine and everything, I did have a bit of an issue. Now when I was wrapping it, I use a barrier film and that covers the entire grip and it goes over there and it, it sticks to the, when I'm using it with other machines, it sticks to the entire grip. And that then ensures that nothing can contaminate the whole outside area of the grip because there is a barrier film stuck to it. With this machine, you can't do that fully because the needle adjustment protrudes outwards. And I did think that might have been a bit of an issue in regards to kind of ink getting back up inside there. So what I have done, just to try it out, when I've been tattooing, I've stripped the machine back, cleaned it, and just to see if there's any ink residue that is on the inside of the grip. And so far, the way that I wrap it, I haven't had any issues with any contaminants going up inside the grip at all. And that is obviously if you're only using membrane cartridges and if you're handling your cartridges correctly, obviously if you don't handle your cartridges correctly and you don't wrap your machine sufficiently, there is always gonna be that chance of getting some contaminants on the grip. But if you do wrap it correctly and you do use the correct grips, which are membrane grips and also handle those correctly, you will avoid any contaminants going inside the machine because that's the way they've been designed. So yeah, that was a little bit of a downfall for me. And the other thing, uh, the only other thing I, I noticed is this, this little twisty bit there. So that's the, I don't know if you can see that, let me just move my head. That's the needle protrusion bit. Like that controls the needle protrusion. And I think, I don't know, I just think that's a massive flaw. Like you don't get, the full, you know, you don't get the full needle protrusion from that. So that is the bit where I don't know, maybe they tried to do something. So I think for me, that's a massive uh, issue in regards to this machine and something that I really don't like about it. Like, I, th I think if you're a seasoned tattoo, like I, I was able to tattoo with it, no problem. But when I do black and gray, I, I've always said this, I like to have very little needle sticking up. And I can't do that with this. When I'm using the Shea and cartridges there, I'm always finding I've got a couple of mil sticking out. And that's a couple of mil too much. And, I, and that's something I didn't like. To counteract having to have the needle stuck out, I found I was running my machine at a little bit of a lower voltage, which saved your battery life. And it, it was adaptable. But I think if you're a beginner, that's where you could have a couple of issues because if you don't understand how to ride the needle correctly and you don't understand needle depth and so on, by having that much needle sticking out and not having the ability to really pull that needle in, you could potentially cause damage to people's skin and overwork people and so on. But not having that real control over the needle depth, for me, is definitely a bit of an issue. And that's something that would put me off using the machine all the time, especially for black and gray. For color work, fine. Black work, fine, we'll switch it on. But for black and gray, maybe not so much. Uh, I think that's it. Yeah, that is it. That's that, There's not much not like about it, that, that's it. Um, like, obviously I haven't used it long enough to be able to say, oh, this machine is gonna last and so on. So I don't know what the longevity of the motor is. I don't know what they've tested up, but I can find that out and put that in another video. But first impressions, using this machine, trying it out, seeing how it works and having just like not even researched it much, just straight out of the box, plug and play, charge it up, you're good to go. And it is, it was nice to use. I definitely think that this machine is a potential for people that are thinking of switching over to wireless tattooing and they don't want to spend a lot of money they just want to dabble in it to see what it's like but at the same time you just need to be aware that you do when you pay 189 dollars for a wireless pen you have got a couple of shortcomings and one of those is the needle depth and the other is not being able to swap out the battery other than that it feels like a decently built machine and the battery life is fairly decent on it as well. Um, I will do, I will let you know when this eventually runs out, how long it took to run out, but yeah, not bad, not bad. I hope you have enjoyed watching this video. If you have, 
again please consider liking and subscribing hit the notification button and all that stuff to keep up to date with everything that we do because we do appreciate it and it does always help our channel grow if you want to know how you can win this keep an eye on our podcast we're going to announce it on there i'm off now i hope you have enjoyed watching it and i'll see you in another video Bye -bye.